Today I'm going to show you how to remove the rust from the tools. You got this tool here that's pretty rusty. I left it in the rain. It's very rusty. So today I'm going to remove the rust using nothing but power from the sun and using my solar panel. So for this project you need a solar panel of course, the sun of course, and bucket of water, some salt, I use Epsom salt which is magnesium sulfate, some metal wiring, and uh, some iron. Alright, so this came from a lamp, and I, I'm just going to cut it with my cutter here, and I use it as a metal wire to hang my tool. And use a zip tie and tie all of the nails together. Made a hook. Also drill a hole on my in my bucket. Just gonna hang it on the hole like that. So this has to be submerged under water, like so. I'm gonna use Epsom salt. That in the water to make it more conductive. Not too much. That should be enough. No need to have too much. And uh, stir it so it will dissolve. This is magnesium sulfate. Uh, you can use uh, sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. This is magnesium sulfate. Or you can use. Um, what is it called? Washer soda, which is sodium carbonate. But anyway, uh, just add in so it makes the solution more conductive. That's all. Next, I got my tool, rusty tool here, hanging on my metal wire. And uh, I'm just gonna hang it on a piece of 2x4 deep in the water make sure it doesn't touch the nails the other metal and uh, should be all good to go right there it looks like it's touching but it's not <clears throat> the, uh, the tool was all the way deep down and the nail is uh, near the surface so they're not touching all right move this away a little bit there we go they are far apart all right next i got my solar panel ready and the wire comes down here and uh got that's the positive terminal a negative terminal over there and the voltage of my panel is right now 39.7 volts this is a 24 volt panel so the open circuit voltage is around 40 volts um, usually for this you should use a lower voltage but I think at 40 volts open circuit it should be fine under load is a lot lower so let's uh, let's try it it's time to connect my solar panel Got my negative terminal here. This negative terminal is gonna go to the the tool, the rusty part that you want to remove the rust from. Okay, like so. Make sure it's secure enough. And the positive terminal. Let's see here. My positive terminal. It's gonna connect to the uh, the metal. In this case, uh, the nails. All right, let's connect. And immediately, you see the bubble coming out of the tool. Zoom in, you can see it. So, the 
negative terminal is where the bubble is going to come out. So that's why if you hook up the uh, negative terminal to the, the metal, the nail, the bubble is going to come out of the nail instead. So wherever the bubble comes out, that's where the reaction takes place. And in this case, the tool. So that's where the rust is going to be removed from. The bubble that comes out of here is the breakdown of water into oxygen and hydrogen. So make sure you uh, do this outside in a well ventilated area. Well actually I'm outside. I'm using a solar panel <laughs> to do this. So you gotta be outside. You can, uh, there's no sun inside the house or inside a building, right? But unless you run the wire into the building, but anyway, uh, got to uh, do this in a vent well ventilated area. Let me show you the voltage. So between the two metal pieces, about 33, 9, 34 volts. Between the, the tool, and the solution 17 volts so that's quite a drop between the two terminal and the solution that means that um, if you add more of the salt you're going to get more voltage and therefore you're going to get more bubble coming out and the re reaction is going to be faster but I think that should be enough I'm just going to let it run for a little bit. Alright, so now 1.17 p.m. It has been about one hour since I started it. Take a look at this. Oh my god. Ew. You know what it looks like? It looks like diarrhea. Let me smell it doesn't smell anything wait a minute when it was away maybe somebody came and took a dump on my bucket it doesn't smell like diarrhea let me taste it I'm just kidding I'm not eating this thing looks like iron oxide anyway so Alright, it's 119 now, a little bit over one hour. And uh, let's pull this out, see what we got. Unplug. There's a lot of airplane flying around today. Let's see what we got. Wow, that looks kind of black. Let me clean this up and see what it looks like. Here we go. Nice and clean. I only clean with its uh, brush, metal brush, but uh, that's it. Alright, so this is my second tool. Uh, this time I'm gonna do something different. Instead of using have some salt, magnesium sulfate, I just got some baking soda, which is sodium bicarbonate. I'm gonna use this instead of the Epsom salt and see if it makes any difference. Alright, so we're just gonna put in Maybe that much. Uh, this thing is easier to dissolve than Epsom salt. There we go. Got my nail. Oh. 
next is my tool rusty chisel this is a different chisel it's not the same one as before so all right that should go let's hang on here I try to clean the chisel with a wire brush and uh, that's the best I can do just didn't want to go away so here it goes should go now all right now add in my solar panel positive terminal go to the nail there we go negative terminal go to the tool There we go. Immediately we see bubble coming out of the tool. Alright. Alright, let me zoom in and show you the bubble. There we go. Lots of bubble coming out. Right, I'll let it run for a little bit. Be right back. I got my voltmeter. Let me show you the voltage here. The difference between the terminals is 35.5 volts. Right. The difference between the tool and the water. 17 volts all right so it seems like it's uh, it's the same voltage between the uh, baking soda and the Epsom salt so there, there's no difference there's no difference yeah same voltage I have another file here, rusty tool, and uh, you know I can do. Uh, I, t I can clean many tools at the same time, so I got it clamp with my clamp right here. So clamp on here like so, and just gonna hang it. Put it in. I'm gonna hang it across there. There's nothing else sinking in that in that water except the tool. So with this clamp, everything is outside the water. So, so now I'm just gonna hook up my cable, another cable, and then to the new tool right? and immediately and see bubble coming out of uh, the new tool that I just put in so I can do multiple tools at the same time alright so it's been uh, about an hour for my first tool I got two tools in here and uh, let's get the first tool out and uh, see what we got Disconnect. Here we go. Let's go and uh, clean it up a little bit. All 
all right so here we go after I clean it just a little bit with the uh, the uh, wire brush it's nice and clean now you can see the uh, pits and the deep gouges on the tool those are the part that in contact with oxygen and become uh, iron oxide and then when it was removed with this method it flecked off and uh, you know and went away and that part is not recoverable so that's why my tool is should be smooth but there are a lot of pits and a lot of, lot of holes on the surface and those are iron oxide that's not recoverable same on this uh, surface that looks nice and clean now let's take a look at my nails Whoa. the nails seem to take take in a lot of rust see that so rust all transferred to the nails now alright so here we go this one looks good this one maybe you need a little bit more cleaning but I'm running out of sunlight it's getting dark already so I gotta stop but uh, these jewel I did earlier looks pretty good all the rust are removed and uh, show you again this wire come into the bucket from my solar panel up there and uh, again these are 24 volt panel with uh, about 40 volts open circuit voltage so there you have it you can use a solar panel for electrolysis to remove rust from your tools alright folks and uh, that's all I have for today thanks for watching I'll see you next time